I beg your pardon, back with another video. And um, it always feels good to another video, man. I, I wish I could do more of them, you know. I'm going to try to do more of them going forward. Um, this one is near and dear to my heart. I had this literally, this plan figured out for literally 30 minutes while I was in the shower. And I think this might be one of my best video ideas that I'm going to actually record. I have a ton of ideas. But this one right here, I think this is a special one. So, there's a certain brand of, of rap that I think is more popular now than it's ever been. And it's just being a funny ass nigga. A funny ass nigga because you make a meme, allegories, because of your punch bar, punch lines, uh, because of just your, your gimmick, what have you. Danny Brown, Little B, um, for a period of time, Tyler slash Earl slash Odd Future as a whole. All these dudes that were making good music, but for the most part, you know, they had a little bit of humor to them, you know? At a certain point in time, they would apply to Tyler and Alfie Trollum niggas, but the point being, humor uh, was big in the early 2010s. It was part of a lot of music, Action Bronson, uh, but I feel like now, dudes are making entire lanes off of kind of being a little bit left to center. And um, I thought, why don't I just give my favorite left of center meme niggas here is the best of meme niggas in rap. This is for heaven. Um... So I thought instead of just putting some clips of some MFers that you may have seen or you don't even know who these people are, I thought I'm going to literally build out a playlist for you guys to enjoy while you watch this video and hear me wax poetic. So, I'm going to start 2017. I feel like that's the best. Around the time this kind of became big, you got like the, the rainbow head, uh, rainbow colored dread dudes. Uh, you got kind of like the little booms of the world that kind of come up and all that stuff. So, I'm going to start 2017. I feel like the preeminent guy that gave off meme-esque vibes to me was none other than SSS and Tassian. Uh In 2016... Outside of his incarceration, I think he did uh, a really good job of uh, being a funny ass dude. I think that's what he was known for. First, is fuckery and uh, fun. Now, obviously, uh, his slant slants in a different way pretty quickly. So I'm going to try to stick to some of the funner shit that uh, he kind of gave us uh, in his short time on this planet. So I feel like I should do somebody else. I I'll also throw in somebody else. But these are some of the songs that I just think that are uh, just just funny shit to do. Um, you know, I'm I'm not trying to be a hipster or anything like that. Trying to just stick to uh, deaf cuts, primarily because some of S's funnier shit is not on this platform. Uh, I'm just gonna do, I guess, maybe I don't know. Uh, how about five per artist? So. I think I get to five. Uh, we'll give S five because, you know, I don't know. He deserves it. So it, one good thing is that this his shit kind of got thrown together. Although I would say for the most part, this is not stuff that's humorous. These are not his like, kind of funny SoundCloud shit. Um, we'll do Butthole Girl from this joint. Uh, Butthole Girl. Yeah, we'll do that one. I don't know. S as a whole, I think anybody would agree with this one. It was a very funny individual in his time. And um, I really think that, um, unfortunately, a lot of his shit is, is not on here. What can you do? So we'll throw a little boom there, too. Little boom was, uh, he had a slant, too, at this point in time. I believe this is around time. Uh, this might, 2017, I think, would probably be after a uh, fuck Steph Curry. In fact, I know it'd be after fuck Steph Curry. Uh, however, he did have uh, fuck Kyrie after leaving the Cleveland Cavaliers. Um, he just, you know, I think he had. Uh, we'll just get this is a uh, a career achievement. How about that? This is a career achievement. So we'll go. I don't know. Fuck Katie to. Um, if I'm doing a career achievement, it should probably a little be a placement, but unfortunately, will be would not have a, a placement on this one. I. I think anybody would agree up 2014, not really relevant enough to kind of deserve this spot. Uh, we also can give um, Fuck Taylor Swift. I like this one quite a bit. Now, I'm going to show you my favorite one here. Now, if, if it seems like I'm doing too many fuck ones, that was 
He was a fuck insert individual artist. That was his thing. I shot a fuck Rudy Gobert, which is not on Spotify, but that'd be a nice one to have as well. Uh, here's a secret, uh, secret weapon that I, I didn't know this thing was still dropping music. Honestly, let's see. Yeah, this one is the best one I could put in here. All right, there we go. So that's 2017. We'll go on from there to 2018. Uh, let's see. Who would I go for 2018? That would be. Um, that's a tough one because if I'd want to put in there, I would. There's some names I'd want to put in there, but. There's only one I can think of off the top of my head, so I'll just go with the one. Blueface, baby. Yeah, I... <laughs> fuck it, on the dead lokes. So, yeah. Um, I don't know how much explanation really I need to do for fucking Blueface. I'm going to try to limit myself kind of how I use songs here. So, this nigga dropped a crazy amount of shit. Good grief. All right, so next big thing. That's literally, I think, the first one I got him popping. Gotta do that one. Um, we over famous. There should be a song here that I want to put. You get it from your mom. I like this one quite a bit. Uh, I listened to this whole album before, but I don't remember everything off of here. But I do remember "Get It From Your Mama" was uh, one I quite enjoyed back in the day. Uh, let's see this whole album. I could really put this whole fucking album. This is if you look at fucking Dead Lokes and Dead Lokes Part Two, literally the uh, epitome of meme rap. I want to say Tatiana. I mean. <laughs> You gonna respect my cripping? <laughs> Give a fuck if you like me. You gonna respect my cripping? <laughs> I'm gonna do Uncle Philip. Uh, I forgot how the hook goes on this one, but it's um something 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 Uncle Philip, something 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 five dollar Philip, but for the shit you get from KFC. And as a nigga that was eating the shot of that five dollar from KFC, that's always gonna hold me down. Uh, I love that joint. Uh, let's see, what else might have been the one? We'll throw that in there too. Uh, so we're going 2019, which I. Still listen to some of these 2019 meme niggas uh, fervently, so I'll be able to do this one a little bit better. The problem is that there's too many niggas I can put in 2019. Uh, 2019, TJ at six and Cash Requiem. I'm gonna put both of them in here. Uh, I do. I play the show. I think both of them are like top five on Last FM this year. Um, I'm gonna do four each, and I'm not. Gonna, I'm not gonna restrict the 2019, although I easily could. I could just do it this product alone, and it'd be sufficient. But these dudes were the funniest fucking people of all fucking time. Um, violin, I love this one. Uh, Scammer, probably still my favorite. Like, just TJ rapping his ass off type shit. Um, I'll do two from here. But I can also do Evidence uh, or, or Yeezys. I love Yeezys, too. Uh, thanks to Emma Clark, I got something, something, something. I, I forgot how the rest of that goes. But Emma Clark is one I'm going to pick from here. You can do Dumps and Pins, which is a very great flow from him. Uh, Swipe Story... Very relevant track if you're looking at TJ shit. Uh, Dark Web, obviously, like a seminal hit for a while there. Um, I don't know how big the name of Duo is, but it still might be his biggest song, uh, Dark Web. And we'll do a recent one. This recently came out. Um, I think this is pretty much like a, some blue CC hat on YouTube. They just kind of threw it together. But it actually, because most, if you listen to it, you can pretty much tell it's like around prime TJ X shit. So, you know. Tired of trolling. This is not a new TJ and Casher song. Though it did come out twenty twenty three. It is, I think, I believe a YouTube joint is older. But uh, speaking of Casher Quan, Casher Quan, let's go. Casher, I feel like doesn't do too much meme rap nowadays. I think he kind of has brought it back closer to his. I mean, this nigga was making these like twenty fourteen apparently, uh, and most of that shit was not meme shit in nature. It was kind of trying to be a rapping ass nigga, which. I would contend the meme shit is a better lane for him, but whatever. Um, I've listened to the vast majority of this nigga shit. <laughs> so I, I just made a couple of times I've listened to. Uh, I mean, really, when I say I mean, like, shit past this. This whole, like, serious cash or shit, not that shit. But, like, pretty much from, really, I've listened to a couple of these, but really from Fendi Runners on, I would say, that's kind of where I tapped in. Uh, so I'm just going to do, I can't do, my favorite one I'd love to do from from when I first was listening to this dude was Opalaka. But I for, I guess because the sample whatever, that got took down. So let's see. I'm just thinking out of here. Uh, Band-Aid, that's a good one. Uh, I love Smooth John. That's one of the best beats he's wrapped over, period. So I like that one always throughout there. Uh, this EP was actually pretty fucking good. I mean, one of his best projects in a, mid, uh, a while. Um, it's not very entertaining, I think, but... Uh, I think this one's a really hard intro. I'll do. I like Max Payne. I'm gonna do still a fan. There you go. 
Uh, let's see what else we got here. What else we got here? Oh yeah, this shit was funny as hell. Like this one's actually legitimately funny. I'll put that one up there. The only reason why I give you cautions here or caution. This is like a minute of an actual song and then like two minutes of the beat looping. So if you listen to that joint, just understand that like after the first minute, it does not come back around. That's it. Just at that point, go find something else to do. Um, this one, this is probably maybe his like hardest rapping wise out of all these. I mean, maybe. So that's Cash Coins 2019. Um, were they the only ones I wanted to put up there? I don't remember if there's anybody else I want to put up there. I don't remember, honestly. Uh, what's going to be tough is that these dudes also count for me for 2020 OD because I didn't listen to two other mini mix other than 2020. I feel like I got a name in my head, but I don't think that one counts. So we're going to go to 2021. I'm not going to hold you guys up too long. Uh, 2021. Actually, let me listen to my 2020 songs. They got, they got me. Spotify should have me. Let me see what they got. I said 2020. Bro, what the fuck is this? Y'all seen this shit, right? 2020, bro. All right, there we go. Let me see what I got for 2020. Uh, like I told you, Heavy, TJ, and Casher. I should put Baby Cody up here, but he wasn't that relevant. Um, Lucky wasn't a meme nigga to me, but I could have done Lucky, too. That's what I wanted to do in 2019, actually, was Lucky. I could have done Lucky. I could have done JPEG Mafia. Um, I could have done Saw Baby. I could have done Saw Baby for 2017, couldn't I? Because that was when, uh, that's when, uh, Pull It With A Stick came out. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a couple of, for, for the, Let's see, I was listening to, to like I think my most played joint from 2019 was probably on the Rose of Cornball, so we'll do. Um, damn, what the hell am I do? I'm trying to keep it like funny. Uh, we'll do Keenan and Kale and God damn. Um, Damn, I'm trying to make this blend fairly decently with the other shit that I got in that playlist. I don't know. We'll, we'll do this one. Fuck, my bad. Actually, yeah, we'll do this one. Uh, all right, so this counts as my 2020, basically, for you niggas. Because I'm just going to do the shit that I like from niggas that probably more apply to 20. 2019 was a really good ass year for music, like, period. I don't know. I could do a whole video about that, but 2019 was an amazing year for music. Let's see, uh, 2020, you know, a fucking pandemic came about. Um, I'm trying to think, do I do meme shit or do I just do, like, good-ass songs from Lucky? I feel like every nigga heard Free Wave. I'm not going to do Free Wave 3, but every nigga in the world has heard Free Wave 3. If you haven't heard Free Wave 3 yet, bro, I don't know what the fuck you're doing, bro. Uh, I like NASCAR Dash Car. We'll do that one. I don't remember too much, but I, I seem to remember remembering, remembering, and remembering, and remembering. Um, Faith was Faith is where I knew this nigga was going to a different different place, but you know, uh, who did I say? Um, I said Lucky, JPEG, and Sabi. Yeah, there we go. Even Anime World uh, or Squid Task. They came out what twenty eighteen? Was that twenty eighteen? Yeah, that shit is old as fuck, bro. That shit in my 2018 was Saw Baby. Damn, I should have done that. Uh, we'll just, we'll just, hey, that's basically what we're doing now. Uh, anyway, so we'll do it. Uh, tonight, well, tonight, bro. I'm gonna go tonight. So that's 2020, basically. 2021. I got one name, only one name I need to do. Fuck, hold up. I just gotta look at my tracks. I just want, there's only one person I want to do it. I know it's gonna be easy to find their shit, but let me just. Uh, can you do Mark Hami? Is Mark Hami a meme, nigga? <laughs> Yeah, I do mock hobby. Would people appreciate that? I don't know. Pierre Bourne. I should do Pierre. Um, I think Pierre's a meme nigga. I don't know if mock hobby is a meme nigga. I feel like it'd be derogatory. <laughs> we'll get mock stances like blow my shit up and call me a fucking this and that, that and this. Uh, we'll do Pierre and Baby Tron. That's what I want to do for 2021 primarily. I'm going to do five Baby Tron joints, bro. But I'm going to do a couple Pierre joints too. I want to do mock hobby, but like, I don't know if... <laughs> I don't know if I can call my comment me nigga, bro. I, I don't think people would be to that shit. Uh, 2021, right? So, TLP5, uh, to me, it, it, kind of a disappointment, but SpongeBob, SpongeBob, my nigga Patrick, we'll do that one. We kind of got to. Uh, yeah, that's not that's not the best song of that project by any means. Don't get me wrong. That shit is not a top tier song of that project, but I think it deserves to be up there. Um, definitely me nigga shit, so. Let's see. What should I do? 
I'm just addicted to his own shit. Uh, if you see this right here, dude, I like actually love this album. It's not just me, nigga, shit. Uh, I'm gonna keep it uh, succinct though. Uh, let's do horoscopes. I think that's always an easy one to kind of go with. Uh, yeah, so that will do that. Let me actually close Google Chrome. Maybe I should move a little bit faster. Or Brave Browser. Fuck Google Chrome, bro. I like 46 songs, bro. That's insane to think about, bro. <laughs> uh, let's see. 2019, 2019. Mm, oh, 2021. My bad, not 2019. Sister started one level. That's not 2021, but basically, right? We'll do uh, Sister started one level. And Ben Reaper 2. Mm, Monkey D. Luffy. Let's see. Everybody hates trying to shit. Oh yeah, that that flip. I forgot who did that beat. I think it's that's that um A Marquez nigga he be working with. I don't know every Detroit nigga, but A Marquez. When I, I didn't hear that shit, I know it's gonna be some hard ass shit. Uh, let's see. I, I gotta bring it back to the OG. This is to me. I thought this, I thought this was the biggest song off that project for the longest was fucking um the Office because that's the shit I heard first from this project. But apparently it's not. I, go, you know I don't know what to say. It's just insane. Believe it or not, I don't know. Um. And Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy, I always love that one. So that's just a couple of, you know, shits there. Uh, so that'd be now 2022. Real RS, who gonna say I'm not? Let's fucking go. All right, so we're gonna do, uh, let's find some other things we could do for 2022, but I'm lasered in to fucking Real RS, bro. Uh, uh, 100 Miles on Walking. Uh, let's see... Westside Benji. Um, yeah, I joined here with uh with um what's his fucking name? Nigga from Griselda. Um was it Benny the Butcher? Or was it uh I think it was Bodie James. I think it was this joint, it was the joint that, it was some Griselda nigga. I'm not gonna do put down it because it's long as fuck. But uh I don't know, dude. It was um I could put Yuck up there too. This motherfucker's incredible. I'm gonna put a 19 minute joint in there, bro, and I'm not gonna feel bad about doing it, bro. That shit is incredible. You need to listen to it. If you have not listened to that shit yet, go listen to that shit ASAP. And this motherfucker, I, this is like one of my like top, I think, five most played albums from this year, bro. Still in the hood, it is what it is. I'm still playing this joint right now to this fucking day, bro. Still in the hood, it is what it is, bro. Actually, I'm gonna put, because there's other artists things I listen to. Um, let's see. I'm just gonna put some of the shits I like, bro. Obviously, American Terrorist, uh, that's one you gotta fuck with a little bit, bro. I don't know if y'all niggas listen to American Terrorist, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna do that y'all, man. I'm not gonna do that y'all, man. Let's see. Is this one short? Yeah, this one's long, too, if I remember correctly. Damn. Uh, you know what I'm gonna do here? I'm gonna throw uh, a dart at a fucking board. Overbo overbite overnights. There we go. I'm gonna do this. Auto from Rocket Power. I, I fuck with that off a rip. That, that's how I fuck with that off a rip. And then um, we'll just do Slide for Obelisk and Raw here. Um, RS2, though. D way different than the rest of these niggas. Let me tell you that right now. Way different. Uh, a whole different, like, I don't know, sound of music. Uh, we'll do these two. Real RS, we'll say I'm not. Uh, and that would be 2022, right? That's what we are, the Real RS shit. So 2023, this is. So far, this is my favorite, and this is not really a mean nigga, bro, but, like, he kind of, I mean, pause this whole statement here, but he kind of hits at some of the same holes for me, that pause, 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 uh, that some of these other niggas hit for me, bro. Oh, I didn't do, um, I didn't do Nate number eight. Oh, fuck, I gotta do Nate number eight. Damn, I didn't do Nate number eight, man. What the fuck, what am I doing here, bro? You know who I should do, um... Zan man, that's what I should do. Zan man, uh, let's see. I gotta do I gotta do Zan man too, bro. Oh, it's a loopers. You get I could put I could do a whole loopers thing too. I'm gonna do um, I'm gonna end this on this. I'm doing two loopers. I'm gonna do two uh, uh, Nate number eight. This nigga, let's look at that nigga, bro. You can already tell. Look at this nigga, man. You can already tell. Uh, let's see. I'm on the other side of the mirror. And this shit is not meme shit. This is like the best song I've heard from him so far. Uh, let's see. What's we'll a real year? All right. So now let's just do two Nate number eight joints. Get the fuck out of here. I hope y'all enjoyed this. This may not be the best format. I mean, 
I, I definitely wasted your niggas' time, but at the same time, it's like you niggas got to see kind of what went into it. So this shit was not me fucking around. Uh, I thought I gave this shit some will thought here. Uh, I had fun doing this, and I hope you niggas have fun watching this, of course. Uh, so I guess a brief overview here of what we kind of got here for 51 songs, and I just made nigga shit. 2017. Uh, primarily SS Tentacion. I threw a little boom in there too, kind of like a fucking uh, Lifetime Achievement Award. 2018, it should be Blueface and Saw Baby. I did not originally think of Saw Baby, but she could also be part of that. Uh, 2019, I did Casher and TJ. Also, could count for 2020. They didn't really follow until I think, like, I don't think Casher really followed 2020, but TJ, by after that fucking, um, he had some EP, like 24 hours, uh, on that joint, and that shit was terrible. That shit, he was done for that. I don't know. Maybe it was a baby that cooked him. I don't remember, but after that shit, he was done. And I also did JPEG Mafia. Uh, I also threw some Lucky in there uh, as well. Uh, 2021, uh, Pierre Bourne. I uh, also threw Baby Tron in there, too. I mean, Baby Tron's pretty much the... Let me restate that. Baby Tron's the headline for 2021. I also threw Pierre Bourne in there. Um, and in 2022... Uh, Real R.S., who gonna say I'm not uh, walking this bitch like Tony Soprano? Nigga talking bullshit, I ain't understanding. Uh, <laughs> Just listen to Terrorist, th our therapy session. Uh, listen to Therapy Session if you don't listen to anything else from the Real R.S. section. But at least listen to that shit, bro. At least listen to that. Um, that's 2022. 2023, uh, I'm a big fan so far of Tony Snow. That nigga, meme shit aside, that nigga's hard as fuck, pause again. Uh, it's Loopers, I'm throwing him in there too. I mean, you could do like, like pretty much every Detroit nigga in, in history is kind of a meme nigga, uh, low key. And uh, Nate number eight is just an internal meme nigga. He's just, he spans time. I don't know what else to say. That's it for me. If you guys see anything else as far as music shit, come to your boy. I'll be doing some more videos at some point, I'm sure.